today's first session first let's try to understand how excel works when it comes to cell rep, how all you can work in excel right uh, so what i need to do here is that i have let's say some companies data sales data here i have quantity and price i want to get the sales how will you get the sales number quantity times price correct price yeah so i'm going to put it as c9 times d9 now while i am typing c9 to d9 what is the c9 c9 is a cell address which is composed of the column and the row column c row 9 that's what c9 is right while we are referring it as c9 excel is not going to interpret this as c9 it's going to interpret as same row two columns before right and d9 will be interpreted as same row one column before where would we see this implication implication of this when you copy and paste it what you notice is now it is not c9 to d9 it automatically becomes c10 to d10 because same row two columns before now is row 10 column c right so when you copy paste because excel reads it as relative reference you will see that cell referencing automatically changes so when i pasted it one column to the right it became d9 times e9 now Let's see what I want to do is I want to convert this sales in dollars. So that means I want to divide this number by 75. Right? E9 by 75 will give me sales in dollars. Now the problem is I want to convert the sales in GBP. I want to convert the sales in Euro. But if I copy paste, one of the issues that happens is my numerator is changing. E9 is becoming F9. It should still be E9. Correct? It cannot be F9. Hmm. So what do we do? So when I copy paste, it should continue to refer to this cell and divide it by 100. So my numerator cell reference should not change. It should be E9, which was the original numerator that was here. That E9 should not, should remain E9, should not become F9. Should you put F4? F4 freezes both row and column. Should I put E $E, dollar dollar $9 by F7? So what does dollar sign do? It makes it's it an absolute relevant. reference. Now E9 means E9. It doesn't mean anything else, right? It is not same row, next column. It is E9. So when I copy paste, it seems to be working. But is it correct? Because when I copy paste below, what is happening? It is doing E9 by F8. Is E9 correct? What should the numerator be? E10, right? So what did we do wrong here? Why is it not changing? What could have we done if it was supposed to be E10? So it should have been dollar E9 by F7, correct? So that when you put a dollar sign before E, that means the column is becoming absolute. Row is still relative. So this interpretation is same row, column E. Column E from the same row. That's how this interprets it, right? So when I copy paste, this becomes E10. But denominator is F8 which is a dummy cell here. What should have the denominator been? F7. So what should have we done about the denominator? I should have put dollar before 7. Right? Should I put dollar before F as well? No, because you wanted to change when you shift up the sign. The column should change when I paste. The F should become G. Yes, yeah. G should become H. Right? Mm. So now we can copy and paste. Right? Why is this very important? Uh, the reason it's very important to us is because when you're building a complex Excel file, we don't try to type formula in every single cell, right? Because if your file has 10,000 cells and if you type all the 10,000 letters, the problem you're going to face is that you will make mistake in any of the cell. So we rely on copy pasting. And if copy pasting has to work, we need to understand how these references work. Now, another thing is, you know, I want to, I, we want USD in millions. So if I want it in millions, is it okay if I multiply it by 10? I multiplied everything by 10 because INR is in crores. I want it in millions for other currency and we know, you know, one crore is 10 million. So I'm multiplying it by 10. Uh, what do you think about this? Only one thing is when you're creating something like this, always think about, you know, what could change, right? Uh, in future, because when I'm designing a file like this, you all, depending on the shelf life of your file, right? Sometimes what could happen is I took a requirement that the team wanted in millions. But what can very well happen is they may tomorrow come and say that, no, I would like to see it in thousands. Right. 
if the t- requirements change and if they say it has to be in thousands now what i have to do is i have to multiply it by 10000 now right instead of million i have to multiply it by 10000 or if they say no let it be in crores as well or they may say i would like to change this to be millions right uh, your team comes and says the quantity will change from crore to million so this is going to become the inr itself i'll change it to million right and in that case now i should not be multiplying it by 10 because my inr number itself has gone to millions right so when requirements may change and therefore what is important is uh, when you're designing a system if you want the file to work for longer time never use any absolute data points right unless it is a mathematical constant unless it is a mathematical constant don't use it what we could do is let this information be captured somewhere right and you can link it to it so i am saying you know the inr units are in 1 crore or in crores forex yeah. units are in millions so what do you think we can do i can multiply it by let's say a crore and divided by million 